example, those are the Sri Lankan bowling figures. Ajanta Membi is the only wicket taker. Continues, and this is swung high, and he's caught. Oh, is it out? I think he, he is because he held on to it and went over the line. And as he crossed the line, he threw the ball in. So, great piece of cricket, but Warner stays. He's, he's waiting still. This is one of the most amazing catches you'll ever want to see on a cricket field. If he manages to, to release the ball before he gets over the line. So the real test is going to be in the replay to whether his foot has been grounded before he throws the ball away. Takes the ball well, realises he's going over the boundary, in the air, releases it. That's going to be out. That's an amazing catch. Well, I remember him doing that once in a T20 World Cup game. And Angelo Matthews repeats it again. Tremendous catch. And Warner should be on his way. That was a legal catch. Well done, Angelo Matthews. Great piece of cricket. Warner is now still waiting for the umpires, but I think it's pretty conclusive. To have the state of mind to recognize that he's got to release the ball, but not only to release it, but to be able to throw it to another fieldsman who's about 30 meters away. Brilliant catch for one. Then also to be able to get rid of the ball so quickly. That's the end of David Warner. A huge wicket here for the Sri Lankans. Warner caught in the outfield. He goes for 16 off 18 balls. Australia now 73 for two. So Sean Marsh comes in with Australia 73 for two. But Sri Lanka right back in it to two new batsmen. Hussey yet to get off the mark. Sean Marsh hasn't faced the ball. Ajanta Mendes, two wickets in, in two overs. Mendes being the man that's made, making the breakthroughs. And this is the last wicket. Both openers are gone now. Warner gone. Watson gone. Brilliant catch. Actually, the credit goes to Mahela Jar Wardner. It was Angelo Matthews that took the initial catch, but he had to get rid of it quickly. He throws it to Jar Wardner, who takes the catch and gets the credit. Now, forward short leg in place. And once again, a look at that catch. That's what we've been talking about. Great catch. Threw it to Jar Wardner. And the batsman was on his way. Now, a forward short leg being brought in. Oh, he's gone! He is gone! Brilliantly bowled by Ajanta Mendes. That was the off break. And Mars just couldn't read it. Sri Lanka get another wicket. Australia, 73 for three. Sri Lanka back on rail. Sean Mars stopped by Sangakara of Ajanta Mendes for not. So Cameron White, the new batsman. He comes out with the Australia in... A lot of trouble. Angelo Matthews held on to an absolutely brilliant catch. In fact, he held on and passed it off. Look at Dilshan's reaction as the captain. After that, look at Dilshan. Oh, isn't he delighted? He knew that was a big wicket. He's got his confidence going, that's for sure. Look at the last wicket. Sean Marsh was completely done by the off break. Well, the interesting thing about that was Sean Marsh's first two deliveries spun into his pads. There was a big appeal for the first ball, and then that last one was just tossed up, and it was the off break. He obviously didn't pick it, and that's the mystery of Mendes. Good, solid partnership together. A golden! That has been the bold. So another one for Sri Lanka. Run and hair at strikes this time. Australia loses their fourth wicket. And Hussey, the batsman this time, who has to go possibly hitting across the turn and being castled so bold hair up for two australia 75 for four so that's the end of david hussey a big wicket for sri lanka playing across the line the ball spinning away to the offside hussey looking to work into the gap on the leg side rungana harith has got his man He's not a big man, Rangana Harith, but he's got a wonderful way of getting the ball up and flighting and getting that drop and turn. Hussey beaten in the air. Sangakara up with joy. Sri Lanka on top. A lot of, lot of work now for Smith and White. Well, you mentioned earlier that Sri Lanka have got five spinners out there. I don't think they're going to need all five. Yes, by the way, the Australians are batting. 
I don't think so, unless uh, Smith and White can get a partnership going. Who gets going? Cameron White. Well, tries a scoop and almost gets away with it. Good evening, Tony Gregg. Wow, the drama of limited orders quick in the crowd here at Pali Kelly. Treated to a fantastic night so far. Well, Sangakara again, fine work. Anticipating that the ball was well wide. Moved very quickly. Much to his skipper's delight. Yes, uh, off the bat and straight into his chest. It's uh, the Australians that are watching here. They still seem to be pretty well enjoying themselves. Steve Smith can back quite a bit. And of course, Cameron White is the skipper. Looking for a big one. Smith. Drifting down leg. And that will be a boundary. Not a very clever delivery. And Juan Pereira. A bonus boundary. Yes, it's got to be straight. There's no doubt about that. And that wasn't. Looks as if it was uh, just a little bit quicker. It was not spinner. Pitched uh, around about, well, perhaps just outside leg stump. And it, the whole story is on the face there of Tilakarat Nadilshan. Again, a touch too short. But uh, that'll be turned away for just a single after 12. It's 89 for four. Tosses it up. Locked it to long off. Well, go all the way. It does just over the long off fielder. Well, it was a gimme full toss. And White put it away. He's a strong man. The skipper. Yes, I think he gets, he gets the feeling he's got to hit himself out of trouble here. It was a full toss. Not a very good delivery. He just managed to get it over the top. A few more like that. And uh, they'll maintain this required run rate of eight and a half opportunity for australia moves away and he hits it big when he gets it from the middle of the bat that's a huge six by the skipper just what australia need the hundred comes up for australia emran white is looking dangerous now yeah this is a superb shot he's uh, he's definitely a powerhouse as well and um he, he really i think realizes but he's got to get the ball over the top every now and again to maintain this run rate of 8.46. I'm sure they're going to lose wickets every now and again. Tremendous back in the attack, and he's got a wicket. First ball. Smith looking to go over the offside, looking to clear extra cover. And Mendes has taken four wickets now. Four for eight. Junta Mendes has broken the back of this Australian top order. Smith goes for 12. And Australia now 113 for five. So this is the wicket. Smith giving himself room, looking to hit it through the offside. Ball not really even turning, just going straight on, skidding on. And Smith playing over it. He's caused lots of doubts in the Australians' batsmen. They've just not picked him. The key thing is this wicket is not a turner just a normal track it's slow but it's not turning square and I think uh, the Australians have brought about their own downfall the new batsman Brad Haddon he's got some experience on hand and Australia in desperate need of some experience so he joins his captain Cameron White get White on strike which he doesn't do first ball he's beaten it's gone straight through bat and pad Mendes has taken five wickets the first Sri Lankan to take five wickets in T20 cricket, and it's Giantha Mendes. Brilliant piece of bowling. Brad Hatton goes without bothering the scorers. First ball, Australia now 113 for six. Top stop, top stop. That was the googly. Just a slight bit of turn, just enough. It's been amazing stuff. But Anthony Mendes has not been in favour with the two selectors. Hardly played in England. Didn't play on Saturday. It just brought him because of the situation. All the conditions on offer. He's on a hat trick now. So the Sri Lankan crowd are on their feet. It's the hat trick ball. Slip in place. Mitchell Johnson works to the leg, looking for two and getting two. 
very well bowled though by Mendes. What a terrific performance it has been by him. He's got an off spinner, a googly. It also bowls the leg spinner, which just turns a wee bit, just enough to cost downs. Oh. There it is, there's the doubts.